It's quite the find. Hello friends and welcome back to Crow's Thrifty Finds. My name is Melanie. So for this week's video, we're going to talk sales. My eBay sales have been weird lately. Normally I have busy weekends and the weekdays, you know, are a little less busy. And lately for me, it's been kind of the reverse. I've been having really busy weekdays and really dead weekends. So you never know with eBay what eBay does. I, I don't know. But let's talk about what's sold recently. And hopefully these sales will help you know, you know, which items are good to pick up and you can learn what things go for. Hopefully it's helpful. So let's go. Item number one is a Radio Shack CB radio. I picked this up pretty early this year at a garage sale. I paid $5 for it and it's sold for $22.99. So that's a $17 profit before eBay fees. And I do typically charge shipping on almost all of my items. Sometimes I try to be competitive and do it for free, but I'll let you know if I've got an item like that. Next item, number two. This is kind of an interesting looking puppet. It's kind of, kind of weird looking in my opinion, but I, I saw it and it looked kind of fancy and exotic to me. I saw it at Goodwill, I paid $5 for it and she sold for $29.99. So that is a $25 profit before eBay fees. Next, item number three, Yellow Wolf. I found a Yellow Wolf t-shirt um, at a garage sale. It was only a dollar, so low risk, high reward potential. I had this shirt priced higher because there were none like it on eBay, but I got an offer that somebody messaged me wanting to pay $25 for it instead of the the 30 I had it marked to. So I, I agreed to that. I profited $24 for it. You can't lose. Next, I have a lot of fitness DVDs, walking DVDs. Um, these came from the first storage unit that I bought, and it's still continuing to pay off. That's the fun thing about storage units, is they just keep bringing in more money. Uh, so yeah, that was just a $17.99 sale, but uh, you know, I'm I'm well in the green on that, so I'm taking in all of you know all of that $17.99 before eBay fees uh, for myself. So it's a nice little bread and butter item. But if you see, you know, lots of fitness DVDs by the same person, you know, that are selling for pretty cheap, I, I'd recommend picking them up. You know, if they're like 50 cents, a dollar, you know, you can make a little bit of money on them. Next item number five. This is a vintage Pokemon game. I bought not too long ago at a garage sale. I paid $10 for it. If you all recall, I was questioning if that was too much for a minute until I looked it up. And it sold for $78.99, so $79, and that's leaving me a $59 profit, as I did do free shipping on that item. So, but still, $59, turn $10 into $59, that's not too shabby. Item number six. Item number six is a Switch and Go Dino toy. I actually bought two of these at the same time. They were pretty cheap, $5 each at Goodwill. But this thing sat forever. So I don't know that I recommend necessarily picking up this particular Switch and Go Dino. Uh, I still have to sell the other one too, but it did eventually sell for $23.99. Um, and it was free shipping. So that's $19 in profit before eBay fees at the end of the day. So, oh, I'm sorry, that one wasn't free shipping, actually. I was looking at the Pokemon game above me. So, yeah, that one, but yeah, $19 in profits. Next, we have a pair of Grateful Dead Beanie Bears. A lot of people think beanies carry no value, but some of them that are themed definitely still do sell. These Grateful Dead Bears sell. And I paid $2 for them. They sold 
for $25. And that's a nice $24 profit before eBay fees. So yeah, if you can get those cheap, and these were new, so that was helpful too, but Grateful Dead Bears are great sellers, um, especially the larger ones. Next, we have a lot of Halo Mega Blocks figures. These came from a Shop Goodwill lot that I bought a long time ago, but it's still paying off. Um, I had these, I think, a little overpriced, so they did sit for a while, but generally, as I've mentioned in other videos, Halo stuff sells really well for me. So once you get your pricing right, you know, you'll get it, you'll get it sold. People want to buy these. Um, but yeah, these Mega Blocks sold for $23.99, which I am well in the green on that Shop Goodwill lot, so I am pocketing all of that. Next, we have a Stetson hat. If you can get a good deal on Stetson hats, you should always pick up Stetson hats. They are fantastic sellers. I paid $25 for this hat at a garage sale, and it sold for $129.99. So that goes uh, for $104 in profit for me. Next... We have just a random Beyblade. My kids were into these for a while, and then they're kind of not so into them. And older uh, vintage Beyblades uh, do carry some collector value. This was listed for a while. I had it listed high for a higher amount, but I just lowered it to push it out. My inventory was kind of growing to a larger size, and I was just ready to downsize, so I marked a bunch of stuff down, and this was included. But still, $10 right in my pocket. No complaints. This next item is probably my most exciting item on the on the list this week. Um, this is a pull down map. It was vintage, and I actually got this for one dollar at a garage sale. And and funny enough, everything at this garage sale was a dollar. I've never been to a garage sale like that, but it was really exciting. Um, it sold within 24 hours for $130, so maybe I even undervalued it, but when you pay a dollar, you're not super worried about it, unless I majorly undervalued it, but I, I doubt that just from the comps that I looked up, but look at that, $129 profit. So I turned, you know, a dollar purchase into a, an item that sold for $130. That's what keeps me doing reselling when you can do something like that. Item number 12, General Zod. It's a General Zod action figure. Came from a lot of action figures that I purchased. It's $16.50 before eBay fees right in my pocket. Item number 13. This is actually a shirt that belonged to me personally. I bought it. I was a silver chair fan in high school, but I am really not much of a silver chair fan now. I still respect their music, but once I saw what their shirts were selling for, I knew I had one that I could give to somebody who would appreciate it even more than I do. So um, I had it listed kind of high, but it was a size medium, and size medium t-shirts don't do as well as your large and extra large t-shirts. Um, so I, I had to mark it down a little bit, and over time, eventually, somebody sent me a nice offer that I couldn't refuse. So I sold this shirt for $108, and that is all profit since this was my own personal shirt, so... I was happy to see it go to somebody that was going to appreciate it more than me. Item number 14. I picked up this statue. I don't know if you all can relate to this, but it was it was a garage sale that, you know, seemed like it kind of had nice items, but I wasn't really finding anything that was worth reselling. So I kind of started looking up weird items that I wouldn't normally look up, but this this is how you learn. So this artist's name is Timothy Smaltz, and this is a called A Quiet Moment. It's a bronze-colored statue. I don't know that it's actually bronze, but I purchased it for $3. And as you can see, I sold it for $50, so it was definitely worth looking up. And I profited $47 from that statue. 
So that was a great purchase. I'm not a big statue purchaser, but sometimes it does pay to look stuff up at garage sales that looks like it could have some value. Actually, a lot of the time it pays off to do that. <laughs> Item number 15. I got this in a former video. Um, this is a Littlest Pet Shop uh, lot of, you know, the building and the figures that came with it. Goodwill priced it for $5. And this is vintage Littlest Pet Shop. So this is what you really want to find when it comes to Littlest Pet Shop. This stuff from the 90s is very desirable. Um, yeah, paid $5 for it, sold it for $70. So that's a nice $65 profit before eBay fees. So funny story about this. The guy that purchased it sent me a message and said, you know, I, I need you to send this quick because my, my wife's birthday is on the 8th. And I was like, oh, you know, I'll get this out the next day, which I would have anyways. But she has the same birthday as I do, actually. So, <laughs> so I know I know what it's like to want to have things, you know, show up on your birthday. So I definitely made sure to get the Littlest Pet Shop lot sent out for this gentleman's wife to make sure she gets it on our birthday. <laughs> Number 16. This is newly sold, just sold overnight, actually. Um, this is a Furby. It's a, a newer Furby, which sometimes people don't realize are actually good sellers. It's not all about the vintage Furbies. Granted, the newer ones are not going to sell for as much, but they are still worth selling. People still want the newer ones as well. So I paid $5 for this Furby at Goodwill, uh, sold it for $25. It's a $20 profit, which which is what I, you know, strive to make most of the time with my purchases, unless I'm buying lots of things. So made my $20 before eBay fees. I'm happy. So that completes the list. And in case you all are curious what the totals are, I don't always share the totals because really this channel's about information and just learning what things sell for. I don't want to be one of those showy resellers that's bragging about their finds, but sometimes people do get curious what it all totals up to. And again, this is my part-time uh, side hustle that I do. So I, I'm usually happy with anything that I make because it's, it's more than I would have made for my normal job, you know, I'm bringing in extra money. But in case anyone's curious, um, these recent sales from the past couple of weeks totaled up to $756.50 before eBay fees. So in reality, it'll be, you know, a little bit less than that, but not too bad. I will take that extra money and be very happy with it. And it's just fun to resell. I, I don't even necessarily always do it for the money. I mean, I'm in it for money, but <laughs> but it's just fun to find treasures and, and see them go and see them sell and see how appreciative so many of the new owners are and excited they are to get them and you get that nice feedback and it feels good. So there, there's so many good things about reselling that I just love. So yeah, I invite you all in the comments section to share uh, a sale that you're excited about that happened recently. I'd love to know what you all are selling, your profits you're making. We can all learn together. And that's going to be about it for this week. Uh, again, my name is Melanie. This is Crow's Thrifty Finds. I will see you next week.